French military, former and current, warn of coup, face arrest. This story is quite fascinating to me. This is a bellwether, if you will, of uh, what might come to America someday soon if Americans start to experience the degree of, of, of quality of life degradation that Many people in France have felt as you adopt a, an open borders policy that allows anyone to run roughshod in your country, you are going to experience diminishment of quality of life for everyone else. Now, I'm, I am not on board with rounding up immigrants. I believe in, in the sojourner principle of my faith, but I'm certainly not for open borders. If, if we're in a nation state parameter, which we clearly are, it's a worldwide, it's an ecumenical system nation statism and you are surrounded by nation states so you should never have open borders in that system because if you do especially when you're powerful and you have resources because if you do your enemies will surely come through those borders and the people that allow this type of policy and that's what's going on here in france they have an open borders policy where they've let all these human beings come in most of which would probably be fully well if they weren't being led by horrible uh bellicose leaders most of them if left to their own devices would be happy to integrate with french society most of them are good decent human beings as, as well as such as we are human beings uh, as decent or, or indecent as us but more than enough of them even if it's only 10 percent and i think it might be anywhere from five to ten percent these folks have other designs and their designs are to come in to destroy france and to create a caliphate this is this is part of uh, many of the, I mean, the we, we Christians, we have our denominations that have this kind of dominionism that we are called to physically take over lands using force and to be the law of the land and basically have a theocracy in which we are, we are once again ordering people to church. Well, they have that in spades. It's, it's much more prevalent in, in, in Muslim countries to have that ideological approach and significantly portions of the people that they allow into these lands. Well, that's, that's what they're dealing with. And what's going on in France is the French government is trying to stigmatize any kind of resistance to this, to this trend and much the same way that America, the, the, the well, I'm going to say the corpo state nationalist America because this isn't the America that you and I grew up with. This is no longer a republic. Corpus state nationalist America, same tactics, which is to to threat to 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 basically label anyone that dissents as a traitor or as a seditionist or, or well, it's the same thing. But uh, this is what's going on in France. So what happened was there's a number of French generals that signed a letter saying, you know, if you keep going in this policy where you keep allowing anybody into our country and you're going to have a, you're going to have a, a revolution. You're going to have a, a civil war because most of France is getting fed up with this. We're, we're done. We want it to stop. And we want the people that are here that are dangerous to be found and rounded up. I'm not even sure how many of them want. Hopefully it doesn't turn into a, an extremist right wing reaction, which would be they round everybody up and kind of a pogramic style, some sort of, even if it's not a, a pogrom of physical death, it's a pogrom in the sort of, of rounding everybody up and sending them out all carte blanche. And Well, I, I hope they don't do that, but it's very possible. But I think what they're really mostly talking about is just rounding up the folks with known dangerous ties and, and trying to, you know, let's not take in so many people so fast. Let's have more of a screening process. Let's be a little bit more responsible to the nation state that we serve because we do live in a nation state reality. So France face threatens coup plotting army st staff with jail. This is from Daily May, Mail dot code.uk a group of retired soldiers who have raised the prospect of a military coup to save france from radical islam are to lose their pay and privilege of rank the country's armed forces chief said today now that was just a few people but what's happening 18 serving officers who backed their calls have been threatened with jail defense chief general F francois lecontois says he will take disciplinary action against the generals and retired officers officers who are among <coughs> 2,000 assigned an open letter to the french president well, I mean, there's more here. 18 Fr French active duty servicemen to face military court. 
over blasting Islamist hordes and looming. So you can't say Islamist hordes because that's racism or bigotry or whatever. You're just targeting all the Muslims in the same way. Never mind that we have sitting members of Congress who regularly refer to Christianity as white supremacism. You could do that as an active member of Congress, but you can't do that. Uh, you can't you can't dare say anything against Islamist hordes or is Islam. So you could say Islamist hordes. I am not for uh, demeaning Muslims as a whole based upon this group. But there are Islamist hordes. There are true Islamists that are amongst them, even if they're in the minority. If you have 100,000 people, for instance, and 10,000 of them happen to actually be killers, you just let 10,000 killers into your country. Islamist horde. That's an Islamist horde. That's what we're talking about here. Each of the identified soldiers and officers would appear before a higher... Well, I don't read to read all of this. I... I want, I want to, former generals warn that France could descend into civil war. Now, since I did this report, <laughs> I did this over the weekend, what I've also learned is that there have been since that, the list has now grown to 20,000. So even as the French government is saying these French military people are going to be charged or whatever, there are now 20,000 people that have signed that letter, and, and it's growing. In addition to that, we also have... 58% of France approves of the letter. So you have the majority of France, I wish it was more significant than that, that actually approves the letter. So you are basically, this is, this is a bellwether for all of the corpo state nationalists out there to see whether the French government can contain it, the resistance by the poors, we the poors, to their attempt to pretty much control all aspects of our lives. <coughs> That's what's going on here. And the reason I want to control all aspects of our lives, friends, is technology is on our favor. If we had 3D printing factories in every neighborhood, if we had microgrids in every neighborhood, if we had spread the, the knowledge of hydroponics and aquaponics and compost toilets and uh, a number of other uh, uh, mesh networks and ability to create local cryptocurrencies using completely secure exchanges, that would be the end of the state. That would be the end of the corpo state nationalist, even. That would be end of the large scale systems that they rely upon for to control us because we're all dependent on large scale systems and they can easily kick us out because you know, if we want anything, we have to get it from one of their systems. So they want us to not discover this and they distract us with whatever they can, whatever boogeyman they can usher up. To, to, to get us to try to kill we the poor so the left poors and the right poors will kill each other even though they have far more in common with each other than any of them do with any of the leaders that they actually uh, serve. I think I'll end it there.